Welcome back to the farm, and in this case, the farm office. The summer vegetables are harvested and freeze-dried, frozen, canned, dehydrated, and we've even eaten a few. The winter greens are planted, and they're even starting to uh, produce a little bit. We've got some lettuce, kale, turnips, broccoli, spinach, even a few radishes. Now we don't eat all that, some of that's used for animal feed, but nonetheless, uh, it's out there and it's available whenever we need it. The winter firewood is split, stacked, and standing by ready to heat the house. The fur on the animals is getting thicker by the day, and the birds are full feathered. Bob, the king of the pasture, our main bull, is getting really cranky. These are all signs that winter is fast approaching. We completed the last big year-end chore, moving hay for the winter. To me, this symbolizes the end of the growing season, the onslaught of colder weather. Here at Possum Ridge Farms, we let our animals graze the pastures year-round, and that gives them lots of space to run around. But grazing also equates to eating lots and lots of grass. And for, for those of you that don't know, hay basically is grass. <laughs> But that also means for us that we have to bale our pastures earlier in the year and or purchase hay from the outside. Sometimes we do both. But we finally did get our hay put in place and now we're really starting to look towards 2021. But I've been asked exactly how do we figure out how much hay we need for the cows year in and year out, but especially to get through the winter. Well, you figure we raise jerseys Jerseys on average are about a thousand pounds. Each jersey per day eats about 25 pounds of dry matter. Now dry matter, for those of you that don't know, a round bale, which is what we utilize, has a crusty outer covering which the weather creates after it sits outside. The dry matter is what's inside. So you need to know what dry matter is and how much you're going to utilize. So in our case we use 25 pounds per day. We also feed about 110 days uh, throughout the winter of hay, plus the total number of cows we have. Now this year we're gonna only overwinter five cows. So what that basically means is we're gonna take 25 pounds of dry matter, multiply it times 110 days, and multiply that times five cows, which gives us 13,750 total pounds of hay. Now, Again, a round bale has all this matter around the outside that's crusted up to protect the inner dry matter. So you're not going to use the complete uh, round bale. A round bale will weigh for us about 1,100, 1,200 pounds. And so we're going to estimate that we need about nine, or we're going to get about 900 pounds per bale weight of dry matter uh, for each bale. So if you do the math, it's going to be about 15 and a half bales. Again, it's 25 pounds of dry matter times the number of days, in our case 110, times the number of cows, divided by the bale weight in dry matter. Now, this sounds awful complicated, but I'll be honest with you, it's not rocket scientists, and, you know, I don't work for NASA, so I'm guessing if I can do it, you can do it too. But I have provided a spreadsheet on our website that you can download for free, and, um, Put in your own numbers and calculate uh, basically how much hay you're going to need. The spreadsheet also has a uh, column for goats as well. Goats are calculated the same, but you put in your own numbers, you add the two together, and you get how much hay you're going to need uh, year round, or excuse me, for the winter. You can also utilize this spreadsheet to uh, utilize square bales, even though we don't use square bales anymore. If, I can, if anyone has any problems with the spreadsheet, let me know. Just put it in the comments or send me an email or whatever, and I will help you get through it. If I get enough comments and there's any demand, I will put a video out there explaining how to do the spreadsheet. Anyway, with that said, 2020 has had its challenges with the global pandemic, <laughs> the election, and everything else that's happened, the great lockdown. But here at the farm, really, our world hasn't changed that much. The sun comes up every day. We work the soil as the season dictates. We take care of the livestock. 
and they take care of us. And then the sun goes back down and we do it all over again the next day. So in our own little world, everything stays about the same. That's what's so great about farming. Until next time, we'll see you down at the barn. <laughs>